Hello and welcome. Today is 3rd December 2020 and this is daily math video for class 9. I hope you are following us along. In the last two days, we learned how do we find out a certain number of rational numbers between two given rational numbers. And in yesterday's video, we learned how do we find out a certain number of irrational numbers between given two rational numbers. I'm going to provide those video links in the description box below. So in today's video, we are going to check out how to plot these irrational numbers, square root 2, square root 5, square root 10. How do we plot any irrational number on the number line? Let's get started. So in order to find out how to plot square root 2 on the number line, we have to find out the measure or how long is square root 2. So let's imagine this. So let's imagine that we have a square. So here we are drawing a square. <laughs> this doesn't look like a square, but imagine this is a square. And the square is such that each side is one unit. Can be one millimeter, centimeter, meter. They all are one unit long. Let's name the square. Let's call this side as A. This is B. This is C. And this is D. In that case, now let's join our diagonals AC. This angle is 90 degrees. Now, in triangle, we can say in triangle A, C, D, ACD is a right triangle because this is 90 degrees. Then we know that applying Pythagoras theorem that the diagonal length is, in this case, AC. So AC squared must be equal to the sum of squares of the other two sides. So in triangle A, C, D, AC squared should be equal to CD squared. Let's write it over here, CD squared plus AD squared, AD squared. Now what is CD? CD is one unit, so it will be one square, plus what is AD? AD is one unit again, which is one square. So we see that AC squared is equal to one square is one, one square is one, or this is simply equal to two. So we know that AC squared is equal to two. That means AC, we can apply square root on both sides, so we have we have AC squared, so we apply square root on both sides. So we get the length AC is equal to square root of 2. So we now know that this length is equal to square root 2. So we are going to use this basic principle to find out square root 2 on the number line. So let's clear this up a little bit. And here we have a number line. So let's imagine this is the point 0. This is 1, this is 2. And on the left of 0, we have minus 1. So this goes all the way to minus infinity on the left side. And on the right side, it goes all the way to plus infinity. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to draw our unit square in such a way that the left corner of our square coincides with 0. That means, so if this is 1, this is 1 unit. So let's draw. So it will be probably something similar like this. So <laughs> this doesn't look like a square at all. But imagine. So this is a square. So here is our unit square. So this is point A and this is our previous point B and C and D here, right? Now we have just seen that this length is square root 2. This is square root 2. So how do we get this length on the number line? Well, we can use a compass and pretend that this is the center of a circle. So from here, if we extend the compass to this point and then draw an arc like this, like this, and say it cuts here at point P, the number line at point P, this is point P. Then what is this length? What is this length? This length must be same as this length because they both are radius of the same circle. That means this length should be square root 2. So 0 through point P is square root 2. So this is how we find out irrational numbers on the number line. Now let's see if we can extend this to find out square root 5. Now can we use the same unit square? We cannot but we'll do a modification of that. Actually we can use square root uh, I should say the unit square but let's do a modification so for the time being let's let's forget about the square root sign 
So let's think about how can we write 5 as some number square plus 1 square. Can we do this? We actually can. So let's imagine this to be, let's say, x, right? Now, so what we can do then, the minus, so 1 square will go on this side. And we will get x squared will be simply equal to 5 minus 1. 1 squared is 1 or 4. x squared is 4 or x equals 2. In other words, we can think of this as, we can write 5 as 2 squared plus 1 squared. And if you are following this along, you can recognize that now what we can do, instead of drawing a unit square, we can draw like a rectangle like this right? We can draw a rectangle like this and let's call a rectangle ABCD and what we are going to do is we are going to use AD as 2. So let's say this is 2 and CD is 1. Then if you were to join this diagonal AC, what is AC? We know this is a right triangle because it's a rectangle. So AC square will be Again, 1 square here plus 2 square here. And we know that 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4. So this will be equal to 5. Or AC will be equal to square root of 5. So we know that this length represents square root 5. So let's clean this up and imagine now this is our number line. This is number 0. This is 1, this is 2, and this is minus 1, and this is a number line. So now instead of drawing a unit square, what we are going to do, we are going to draw a rectangle such that the lower left corner of our rectangle that we just saw, A, B, C, D, will coincide the point A with 0. So this 0 through 2 will be the base and will go up one unit. So we'll draw a rectangle like this. So this is, this point coincides with 0. This is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D. Now, then this length is square root 5. And again, using the same principle that we did while finding out square root 2, we are going to pretend this is the center of a circle. And using compass, we are going to measure this. And then we are going to draw an arc that intersects a number line and say it intersects the number line at point P or any point, then this length from zero through here, this length on number line is equal to square root five. Let's finally quickly take a look at square root 10. It will be exactly the same principle. So we are going to think of what number. So 10, we are going to have a number here whose square plus one square. If we can write it, let's see what this number will be. This number will be 3. So 3 squared plus 1. 3 squared is 9. 1 squared is 1. So this will be equal to 10. So we can write 10 in this fashion. Right? So what we can do, as you may have guessed, is we can think of like a rectangle like this where the length is let's say three unit and the height is one unit. So let's call our rectangle ABCD. It's exactly the same the way we did for square root two and square root five. And we will join the diagonal AC. This is a right triangle. ACD is a right triangle. So AC square will be equal to CD square plus AD square, which is one plus 9 equals 10 or AC is going to be equal to square root of 10. Now how do we get this on the number line? I think you may have guessed it by now. So let's say these are our, uh, this is our number line and let's imagine maybe say this point, maybe this point to be 0. So this is 0, this is number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, so on and so forth and here we have minus 1, minus 2. This is minus infinity, this is plus infinity. Now we are going to draw our rectangle in such a way 
that A will coincide with 0 here. And so the base will be 0 through 3. So let's draw our rectangle. So our rectangle this time will look like this. So our point A is coinciding with 0, and this is B, this is C, and this is D. And this length here is square root 10. So again, by drawing an arc of the length on the number line, we can find out the point where the arc cuts the number line. And that point from the origin over here, this point is going to be square root 10. So this is how we find out the points, irrational numbers on the number line.